Hello, and welcome to my video about the different parts of a computer and why they are important. In today's world, computers have become an essential part of our daily lives. From the latest iPhone to your grandma's laptop from the 1990s, they all share similar components and functions. Computers help us in many ways, whether it's for work, entertainment, or communication, but have you ever wondered what makes a computer function and how it works? In this video, we will go over the basics of the various components of a computer and quickly explain their functions. Let's get started. When I was around eight years old, my father saw that I had interest in technology early on. He himself was involved in video production and worked around the best PCs at the time. When I showed him my desire to work and play on computers as well, he brought in a box of computer parts and challenged me and said, if I could build this computer, that I could have it. With his instruction, I was able to build my first of many computer systems and have been able to impart that knowledge to many others. I'm grateful for my dad and for the knowledge he shared with me so many years ago. It has truly sent me on a technological journey I would not have ever imagined as an eight-year-old. With that in mind, I'd like to explain the different components of a computer so that you can start your own journey in building your own. Let's get started. A computer motherboard, also known as the main board, system board, or logic board, is a printed circuit board that serves as a central hub connecting all of the components of a computer. It provides a communication pathway between the various components of the computer, such as the CPU, RAM, hard drive, power supply, and other components that we will discuss in this video. The motherboard contains slots, sockets, and connectors that allow the different components to be connected to the board. These connectors include the CPU socket, RAM slots, PCIe slots, SATA ports, USB headers, and others. The specific configuration and number of these connectors depend on the motherboard's design and intended use. The CPU socket is where the processor, CPU, or central processing unit is installed. The CPU is considered the brain of the computer, and it controls all of the computer's operations. Important note, the CPU socket must match the CPU socket type to ensure compatibility. The RAM slots are where the computer's memory or random access memory is installed. RAM is used for fast temporary data storage and retrieval, and the amount of RAM a computer has can significantly impact its performance. The number of RAM slots and their capacity depends on the motherboard's design. The PCIe slots are used to connect expansion cards, such as graphics cards, sound cards, and network cards. These cards allow the computer to perform additional functions that are not built into the motherboard. The number of PCIe slots and their configuration also depend on the motherboard's design. SATA ports on the motherboard are used to connect the hard drive and other storage devices to the motherboard. The USB headers are used to connect USB devices, such as keyboards, mice, and printers to the motherboard. These headers provide additional USB ports for the computer. The motherboard also contains a BIOS chip, which stores the computer's basic input-output system, or BIOS firmware. The BIOS is responsible for booting the computer and performing system-level checks before loading the operating system such as Windows 11 or Mac OS. You can compare the motherboard almost like the backbone of your own body. Without a functional motherboard, the computer cannot operate correctly. Just as without a healthy backbone, the human body cannot function correctly. In this way, the motherboard can be seen as a crucial component that provides the foundation for the entire computer system, just as the backbone provides the foundation for the human body. A computer CPU that we mentioned earlier, or central processing unit, is the primary component responsible for executing instructions and performing calculations in a computer system. It is often referred to as the brain of the computer. It is much like how our human brain controls the operations of our own body. The CPU is a small rectangular shaped chip that is mounted on the motherboard and is usually covered by a heat sink and fan to prevent overheating. The CPU processes data by performing arithmetic and logical operations, accessing and manipulating data and memory, and controlling the flow of data within the computer system. 
It operates at a clock speed measured in gigahertz, which determines how many instructions it can execute per second. The faster the clock speed, the more instructions the CPU can execute in a given amount of time, resulting in better performance. The CPU contains multiple processing cores that can execute instructions independently, allowing it to perform multiple tasks simultaneously. This is known as multi-core processing and is common in modern CPUs. Additionally, CPUs contain a cache memory, which is a small amount of high-speed memory used to store frequently accessed data and instructions to improve processing speed. The type and model of a CPU used in a computer can have significant impact on the system's overall performance. The CPU's performance is affected by factors such as clock speed, number of cores, cache size, and manufacturing processes. As such, this is a key consideration when selecting a computer system or upgrading an existing one. Computer RAM, or random access memory, is a type of volatile memory that serves as a temporary data storage and retrieval system for the computer. Unlike the hard drive, which stores data permanently, RAM is used to store data temporarily while the computer is running. When the computer is turned off, the data stored in RAM is lost. This is much like your own short-term memory in the human brain. RAM works by providing the CPU with quick access to data and instructions needed to perform operations. When a computer program is launched, it is loaded into RAM along with any associated data files. As the program runs, it accesses this data and instructions from RAM, and any new data is also stored in RAM for quick access. The amount of RAM a computer has can significantly impact its performance. If a computer does not have enough RAM, it will have to rely on the hard drive, which is much slower, to access data and instructions, resulting in that slower performance. Additionally, more RAM allows the computer to run multiple programs simultaneously without slowing down. RAM is measured in units of bytes, and the amount of RAM of a computer can be increased by adding more RAM modules to the motherboard. The speed and type of RAM used in a computer depends on the motherboard and CPU specifications. In general, faster RAM can improve a computer's performance, but it may not always be necessary depending on the system's usage. A computer hard drive is a non-volatile storage device used to store and retrieve digital information. It is a magnetic disk-based storage device that uses spinning disks to read and write data. The data is stored on one or more platters, which are coated with a magnetic material that can be magnetized to represent digital information. A read or write head accesses and manipulates the magnetic information on the platters to read or write the data. The head floats on a cushion of air above the platter and can move across the surface of the disk to access different sections of the data. The platters spin at a high rate of speed, usually several thousand revolutions per minute to enable the read-write head to access data quickly. Hard drives are measured in terms of storage capacity, which is typically measured in gigabytes or terabytes. The larger the capacity of the hard drive, the more data it can store. Hard drives are also characterized by their data transfer rate, which refers to how quickly data can be read or written to the disk. One advantage of hard drives is that they are relatively inexpensive and offer high storage capacities, making them a popular choice for storing large amounts of data, such as videos, music, and documents. However, hard drives are slower than newer solid-state drives, or SSDs, which use flash memory to store data. Slower hard drives can be more susceptible to damage and failure due to their moving parts. A SSD, on the other hand, uses flash memory to store data. It contains no moving parts, and data is stored in memory chips that can be accessed quickly. SSDs can use a variety of memory types, which have different read and write speeds, endurance, and price points. In terms of performance, SSDs are generally faster than hard drives due to their lack of moving parts and ability to access data more quickly. This can result in faster boot times, quicker program launches, and improved overall system performance. However, SSDs are typically more expensive than hard drives and have lower storage capacity. Hard drives, on the other hand, are a more affordable option that can offer higher storage capacities than SSDs. They are also more resilient to power outages or other types of disruptions, as they can retain data even when not powered. However, they are slower and less durable than SSDs, 
as the moving parts can be subject to wear and tear over time. A power supply unit or PSU in a computer is an essential component responsible for supplying power to all the other components in the system. It converts the alternating current from the wall outlet in your home to direct current that can be used by the internal components of the computer. The power supply unit receives power from the wall outlet and uses a transformer to convert the voltage to a level suitable for the computer components. The PSU then distributes the power to the other components of the computer, such as the motherboard, CPU, hard drive, and graphics card. The power supply unit is rated by its wattage, which indicates the maximum amount of power it can supply to the computer. The wattage of the power supply should be sufficient to power all the components in the computer. If the power supply is too weak, it may cause instability, crashes, or even damage to the computer components. In addition to wattage, other important factors to consider when selecting a power supply include efficiency, noise level, and the number of connectors available for powering the various components, resulting in quieter operation and lower energy costs. A graphics card, also known as a video card or GPU, meaning graphics processing unit, is a hardware component in a computer that is responsible for rendering images, videos, and animations on a monitor. The graphics card works in tandem with the CPU to process visual data and display it on the screen. It has its own separate processor, memory, and cooling system, which allows it to handle complex graphical computations quickly and efficiently. The graphics card contains a set of processing units and specialized memory designed to handle large amounts of graphical data. It also includes a GPU that can accelerate the processing of graphics intensive tasks, such as gaming or video editing. One of the key factors in the performance of a graphics card is its VRAM, or Video Random Access Memory, which is the memory that stores the graphics data. The more VRAM a graphics card has, the better it can handle high-resolution images, videos, and other graphic-intensive applications. Another important consideration when choosing a graphics card is its compatibility with the other components in the computer, including the motherboard, power supply, and cooling system. Some graphics cards require additional power connectors or require a certain amount of space in the computer case to fit properly. A computer case is an enclosure that houses the various internal components of a computer, such as the motherboard, power supply, and storage devices. The case protects these components from dust, dirt, and other external elements, and also provides a platform for connecting external devices, such as keyboards, mice, and monitors. Computer cases come in a variety of sizes, shapes, and designs, ranging from small form factor cases that are designed to take up minimal space to full tower cases that can accommodate multiple components and cooling systems. The size and design of the case are important considerations when choosing a case as they determine the amount of space available for internal components and the ease of accessing and upgrading them. A computer case is typically made of steel or aluminum and is designed to be sturdy and durable. It also includes features such as air vents, fans, and dust filters to help keep the internal components cool and free from dust and other particles that can clog the internal components and cause them to overheat. Computer fans are an essential component in a computer system that help to regulate the temperature of internal components by removing heat generated during operation. Heat can be detrimental to the performance and lifespan of computer components, so cooling is necessary to prevent damage and maintain optimal performance. There are two main types of computer fans, intake and exhaust. Intake fans are typically located on the front or bottom of the case and bring cool air into the case. Exhaust fans, on the other hand, are located at the top or rear of the case and expel hot air out of the case. Fans operate by spinning rapidly, drawing air through the case and over the internal components. The air is then expelled out of the case, carrying away heat generated by the components. Modern computer fans come in a variety of sizes and shapes. They can be powered by the motherboard or a separate fan controller, and can be controlled manually or automatically based on the temperature of the internal components. In addition to standard fans, there are also specialized fans designed for specific purposes, such as CPU fans, GPU fans, and liquid cooling fans. These fans are designed to cool specific components and may have different mounting or connection requirements. Proper fan placement and configuration are important for effective cooling in the computer system. In general, it is best to have more exhaust fans than intake fans, 
as this helps to create a negative pressure inside the case, drawing in cool air from any available vents. This is not a sponsored message, but just a website I highly recommend as you are wanting to build your first or subsequent computer systems. PCPartPicker.com is a popular online platform for building and customizing computer systems. It allows users to select individual computer components and check their compatibility with each other, ensuring that the components will work together seamlessly. PC Part Picker also provides a range of tools and resources to help users plan and build their systems, such as power supply calculators, build guides, and user forums. I wholeheartedly recommend you take a look at this website before purchasing any computer parts. In conclusion, a computer is a complex machine that requires many components to function correctly. Each component plays an essential role in assuring that the computer operates efficiently. The motherboard connects all of the components, the CPU is the brain of the computer, RAM determines the computer's performance, the hard drive or SSD stores all of the data, the PSU powers all of the components, and the GPU displays the images and videos. Understanding these components' functions is essential for building, maintaining, and upgrading a computer. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Good luck on your computer building journey, let me know how it goes, and thank you for watching.